to become successful, you know, and it's, it's not easy because I'm still fighting the demons in my mind of the past, you know. I had so many guns against my head. I was stabbed so many times. Then me and my father never had a good connection. My mother grew up as an orphan, but she was more into God. And as we grew up as kids, it was never easy. Try to feed ourselves because mother's unemployed, father's an alcoholic, you know. Grew up surrounding my poverty, unemployment, and gangsterism and drugs. I almost killed my own father. He was just like the worst enemy I ever had. We had six children, so the three of them are dead. Two got shot dead and one died in a car accident. And there's only two of us left. One is still on the street being a gangster. I, I was sentenced to 10 years for murder. For us, it's just yeah, you know. In Bombay, it was like from the street life to a prison life. I have to develop into a prison life as well, became a prison gangster as well. There's so many times I went through the process of prison over and over and over. And I thought there's no way out. The only way out for me is to die. But God came and shined a light in my life. You know, and it all happened to me when he took me out of a community cell and put me into a single cell where I'm all alone, nobody around me, only me and four walls including the Bible, you know, I never paid attention to the Bible and so on because to me, there was no God. Why do I need God? I have everything to survive in prison and on the street is a gangster. Being locked up in a single cell all alone was actually my turning point of life. That's where God got it time to talk to me. I remember the first time I opened it, it came from the Bible. Psalm 90, you know, that's where you get the breakthrough into my life, into my heart, and changed me, you know, as a human being, but it was still hard for me to understand it because I was still that type of guy, you know, because I had a heart of stone. You know, if you're a gangster, you get to raise all these types of things, you got the heart of stone. And now I'm looking at it the same, Got the hood where I come from and look at all like wow. My baby brother is still on drugs and he's still a gangster and all these types of things, you know. And I keep on asking myself, how can I change that? You know, and there's always people that's telling me and I'm telling myself I can't change it. It is only God. I'm always thinking about that moment where I was alone, you know meeting with him and how it all came possible. I'm coming out of jail like 2012, you know, even though whatever I did fall back into insanity, you know, he, he, he never lose interest in me, you know, he was always there. It's easy to go back, but it's hard to go forward. As long as I push myself to go forward, he will push with me. And now studying film in media, these people don't judge me as a gangster, as an outcast. They treat me like a student, like a human being, like somebody that wants to achieve something in life. Made me believe what I prayed for while I was still in jail. It's finally here. I must say thank you for, for God, you know, for me to believe the right that he, he exists. Because, you know, as I grew up, he never existed. And today I respect my father. I respect him as a dad, you know, irrespective of the way he raised me or how he brought me up still, you know, because I grew up with many of the youngsters who never had a father. Fifteen years later, you know, everything has been changed and so on, you know, finally I'm, I'm at a state where I believe, like, this is a dream. My name is Gordon, aka the chosen one. God changed my nightmare into a dream. So now I'm chasing destiny.